In this video, we are going to complete the arm body. To start, take your arm body from your rig and press a 6810 bearing into the front of it. The hole may need to be fettled if you have difficulty pressing the bearing in. Make sure your flex blind attach on the main pivot is free of any zero layer issues. Then, push your arm body over the motor. If the bearing in the arm body pops out, just push it back in. If you rest the robot on its side, make sure not to put any force on the code disc or it may break. Once that is on, take the M3 by 12 mm socket head screws out of the motor one at a time. Replace them with a number 6 washer underneath. This locks the arm body in place with the motor. When the arm body is secured, it is time to attach the stator gear for the harmonic drive. Put four M2 by 16 mm bolts into the bottom of the stator holder as the posts around them are very fragile. The stator gear has four smaller holes through it and two of them opposite to each other have thread on one side. Find these holes and place the stator gear thread side down into the stator holder, matching them up with the holes in the bottom. The stator gear should sit in about a millimeter below the top of the stator holder. After the stator gear is pushed into the hole, take two M3 by 12 millimeter socket head screws and tighten them into the bottom. Make sure to tighten them evenly. Then, take four M2 nuts and tighten them over the tops of the M2 bolts. Tighten these evenly as well. Now, press the stator mount over the flex blind while keeping the holes aligned with the four holes in the arm body. Turn the wave generator inside of the flex blind to help the stator gear catch the teeth. Be careful not to damage the teeth. Ensure the holes are aligned again. If they aren't, you can spin the wave generator to align them. When they're aligned, take your four stator balancers and press them into the holes. A mallet will most likely be needed to get them in. When they're in, give the wave generator a few spins with your fingers. Do not move this axis by hand unless you are operating in follow me mode from here as it will damage the harmonic drives. After that, we're going to put the belt directors together. You're going to put six MR128 bearings into each side of the belt director holes except for the top right one. They should be flush and a pair of pliers may help achieve this. Once the bearings are flush, take two 18mm length carbon fiber rods and push them into the shorter sections of the belt director with bearings. Then. Take a 24mm carbon fiber rod and put that between the longer section. Next, you will be super gluing your belt director caps into the rods. Put a small amount of super glue around the inside rim of the rod and push the cap in until it's all the way down. A channel wrench may come in handy here. Repeat this on both sides for each rod. After that, take your belt director pulley. Press an MR85 bearing into the side of the hole. Then, take your idler plug and put an M2 by 20mm bolt all the way through it. Put the pulley into the space in the top right of the belt director and then push the idler plug in from behind. Press it until it's flush. A channel wrench will most likely be needed. When it's pushed in, place an M2 nut with a washer on the bolt and tighten it down. This completes the arm body subassembly.